So these are the diaries of a goat farmer. And remember, this is the goat that we treated yesterday and uh, it, it was having that distended abdomen. And we, we were thinking that it, it was caused by uh, excessive worm burden or, or intestinal obstruction due to something else. So today it died, so we did a post-mortem. And you can see that is the abdomen, that is actually the GIT that was swollen. And that is what was actually uh, leading to that resonant percussion note yesterday. So we opened that up and then we looked inside. I mean, today this video is a bit not nice, but can you see that's a plastic? So we discovered that the goat had actually eaten a plastic. And this plastic had now gone on to go and close so the to go and close the outlet. So it means that the gastrointestinal tract, the stool could not move normally. And then that actually led to the to to to, to the obstruction. And we tried to give cooking oil. That's why we gave cooking oil initially, just to try and if there was any blockage so that the stool could move softer. And the bowel was full of oil inside, but unfortunately that plastic could just not move. So this is so important to us. It's the first time it's happened and we've gone around the farm and we've seen that there is a lot of plastics. So now what we are thinking of doing is to just actually make paddocks, fence them up nicely, and then make sure that uh, before they go browsing or grazing, someone just looks and looks for these foreign bodies that people can see. I think, you know, with this, I think the best would be zero grazing as well, especially for the high value animals. So I'm actually thinking that the bugs, we could do that. But le let me know what you think. Uh, do you think we should zero graze or the paddocks? Thank you for watching. These are the diaries of a gold farmer.